Welcome to episode three of Wiki What? We have our contestants here. Micah Smith. Matt Sonner. Uh, Judge Elisario. And as usual, our rules are that we'll give you three statements that we have either gotten, or three you know, facts basically, we've either gotten from Wikipedia, which is true for two of them, and for one of them, we've just completely made it up. And your goal is to, of course, pick the one that we have just made up. Round one, our first fact <coughs> is that uh, an American reality show to find Prince Harry, really an actor they tried to pass off as him, a wife. Wanna Marry Harry is an American reality television show that premiered on 2014 on Fox. The series had a premise similar to Joe Millionaire. It follows 12 American women who are manipulated into believing they are competing for the affections of Prince Harry. However, in reality, The Bachelor was Matthew Hicks, a Prince Harry lookalike. Meghan Markle was not a contestant. <coughs> Possible. Uh, fact number two. This one about the Star Wars Christmas special. Um, Star Wars Christmas special or holiday special is a 1978 American TV special that originally aired on 1978 on CBS, directed by Steve Binder. It was the first Star Wars spin-off film set between the events of the original film and The Empire Strikes Back. It stars the main cast of the original Star Wars and introduces the character of Boba Fett, who appeared in later films. In the storyline that ties the special together following the events of the original film, Chewbacca and Han Solo attempt to visit the Wookiee home planet of Kashyyyk to celebrate Life Day. For our third one, the Spaghetti Tree Report in 1957 by the BBC current affairs program Panorama reportedly showed a family in southern Switzerland harvesting spaghetti from the family Spaghetti Tree. At the time, spaghetti was relatively unknown to the UK, so the British people were unaware that it is made from wheat flour and water. A number of viewers afterwards contacted the BBC for advice on growing their own spaghetti trees. Which of these weird television-related uh, things did we make up? Is that right? Wanna Marry Harry, Star Wars Special, right or that. Spaghetti Tree? We all have our answers. Write it down back on two or three. All right, flip them over. Every, well, not everyone went three. Three, three, two, and three is correct. So we have a point for Joe and Matt. I was going to say, spaghetti trees are just... I like, wanted to believe in spaghetti tree. I wanted to have hope. I want to believe in the spaghetti tree, too. I bet the spaghetti tree can be so. Round two. <laughs> <laughs> the company was in court... Uh, Oh, uh, the Tesla company was originally incorporated as Tesla Motors Incorporated on July 1st, 2003 by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpenning. I don't know if I'm saying those names right, but you know, whatever, close enough. Eberhard and Tarpenning served as CEO and CFO, respectively. Eberhard said he wanted to build, quote, a car manufacturer that is also a technology company, with its core technologies as the battery, the computer software, and the proprietary motor. Our second one. In the 90s, when the internet was first coming online, engineers never thought that the internet would become what it is today. Today there are websites, databases, social, social platforms, file directories, 25 or 2.5 million terabytes being used every day along with about 3.5 billion search queries on Google. Dr. Francis Mazaris, I think that's how it's pronounced, hypothesized that humans would never need more than 15 megabytes on a daily basis of storage. Through his research. Today we are in the zettabyte era where we have about 78 zettabytes of storage being used on earth. I don't know what a zettabyte is but it seems like it's very big. I think it's probably a thousand petabytes. It so. is. Uh, and our third one, this is the one that I'm really not sure I'm going to pronounce right, but Zhang Jingzi is the first bipedal humanoid robot in China created in 2000 by the Chinese National University of Defense Technology. According to the Japanese, this will save the country, its country from corporate capitalism with its crotch cannon. With its crotch cannon. Okay. Does anyone, does anyone have their answers? Flip them over. Flip them over. <laughs> 
You had you had one there. Yeah, <laughs> Would you go with one? Yes. Well, the funny thing is, none of you are right. It's actually the second one. Apparently, there's a robot with the. I'm not saying that again. <laughs> Barely said it once, but. Uh, Gosh, kid. Uh, uh, the Zetabyte era is apparently uh, something about that is apparently not right. So. What is? Well, F15 and me. I wrote it, so it's not right. No, it did. Just sound, it sounded very you just factual. thought of it. Round three. Lawnmower racing is a form of motorsport in which competitors race modified lawnmowers, usually on the riot of the ride-on or self-propelled variety. The original mower engines are retained, but blades are removed for safety. The sport attracts all ages and is usually entered into in a spirit of fun rather than extreme competitiveness. Although many participants do take it quite seriously. Our second one. A robot jockey is commonly used in camel racing as a replacement for human jockeys. Developed in 2004, the robotic jockeys are slowly phasing out the use of human jockeys, which in the case of camel racing in Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, and Qatar, often employs small children who reportedly suffer repeated systemic human rights abuses. In response to international condemnation of such abuses, the nations of Qatar and UAE have banned the use of human jockeys in favor of robots. Or our third one. In 1605, King James I became very involved in the sport of kings. This sport was first started in Newmarket, a royal resort in royal resort, probably a royal resort in England. The sport consisted of three series of events comparable to a modern day triathlon. This sport consisted of horse racing, cricket, and underwater basket weaving in tests that test their mental agility and fine motor skills. Going with lawnmower racing, robot jockeys, or the sport of kings. Three, two, one, two, and three. And three is the correct response. Round four. Round four. All right. The first one, fish have an incredibly high intelligence, and in one instance, a fish was taught to be able to solve complex math problems, giving his answer by stacking pieces of grass. Our second one, Talkeetna, Alaska, has a cat as their mayor, and has had that cat for their mayor for over 20 years. Stubbs the cat was elected in 1997 as a write-in candidate, when there was no other candidate deemed worthy to lead. Four. Dogs are able to understand about 200 words, the equivalent of a two-year-old baby. Which of those did we make up? The correct answer is number one. So both Matt and Micah get a point. Going into our fifth and final round, we have Matt in the lead with three, Micah with two, and Joe with one. So Joe, you're playing for pride at this point. But Micah, you still have a chance to tie if you get it right. Matt misses this one, in which case then we will need a tiebreaker. That's probably not right. Which I'm wondering if we have. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, though, round five, our first one. Um, these are these deal with music. Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanata is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. She is known for her image uh, reinventions and musical versatility. She later on took the stage name that was inspired by the rock group Queen as. Uh, and she has most recently released her sixth studio album, Chromatica, which was released on May 29th, 2020. Keep it in. Our second fact. Uh, the very first year, there was an Academy Award for Best Score, which is the music created for a film. The film was Hitchcock's The Birds, which ironically mostly just featured screeching violins over top of people screaming while being attacked by birds in the film. Uh, or our last one, Tetris, is a song arranged by Andrew Lloyd Webber, who is also the composer for Phantom of the Opera. The original composition that is the main theme of Tetris is, that is based off of is a Russian folk song, Korbienka, or something like that. Uh, the song used in the Game Boy version of Tetris was uh, composed by Hirokazu Tanaka. So there is a song based off of the of a folk song that is the based off of the song that's in Tetris or something along those lines. What are we going with? Are we going with the lady who based her name off Queen, the birds, or Phantom of Tetris? What's this? <laughs> this is rigged. Oh. Uh, well, 
The thing is, none of you got it right! Like it. No. it actually was the bird's one. So, Matt, Wins. due to having the highest score before that round of three, is our winner. Congratulations, Matt. Ethan. Trophy. Oh. Yay! No violence. This is, this is my one life's goal. I'm going to cherish this moment forever. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my yeah. grandparents for